Hello and welcome to Stakes Hair Day where we talk about our current universe plans. Okay, so the question is, can the Biblis help reduce you know, mosquitoes which lead to dengue? And as you can see here, our Biblis is actually feeding itself. So it's able to catch insects. Um, you know, you see at, at the background there are tiny insects which it has already devoured. And you see, right now, what I'd like to show is that you know, that little fly, you know, it's not a mosquito. Unfortunately, we don't have mosquitoes in our homes, but um, in, in other um, pictures and videos, it's a good plant to reduce the mosquitoes in your home. So it, it won't totally eliminate mosquitoes, right? Because you need to prevent the root cost, which is you know, in the swamps or watery parts where, where the, the mosquitoes breed. But... If you have this in your house, I would say it would definitely reduce you know mosquitoes flying around. You don't need to to buy bygone, I guess, or you don't need fly paper or whatever whatever you use. So it's good for reduction, but it won't eliminate. All right, and here's another angle of you know the fly. Um, it it catches its prey with those juicy like tentacles and um you just leave it there right it's so easy to grow you just put it on sphagnum moss um, ro water or distilled water and then give it some sunlight even without prey right it, it will be surviving on its own so give it a try right uh biblis it's really cool if you want to see more videos of my carnivorous plants just Stay tuned, subscribe, and every Saturday, Steak Saturdays, I'll be trying to post videos. Uh, my commitment to you is at least once a month, okay? But you'll notice I've been posting weekly already. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Help me! I'm a fly! I am stuck! Help me! Help! 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 Let me out! Let me out! I die! I will die! Bye-bye!